Welcome to the finished product. The project is all finished and it's ready to show you what we have delivered, which our amazing tenants are going to be enjoying now that they have moved in. As we've said, this project's a buy to let project, which is a property we used to live in, which we've now converted to a buy to let into our portfolio of properties. Let's take a tour of the property and I'll tell you what has happened, what we've done with the property over the lifetime of ownership and what we've delivered for our tenants. So you can see exactly what has happened and what has been delivered. So check out our three story terrace, which has two amazing parking spaces. Now, as you can see, it's got a lovely balcony to the front of the property and is a three story. So lots of space in quite a small floor print. Now let us go inside and as you can see a uh, corridor, it's all nice and bright with the white paint. And down here we've got a downstairs toilet, we've got a utility and we've got a room we will go into in a second. The downstairs toilet really has just had a bit of a clean and a tidy up as it was already relatively fresh and tidy um, before. We did need to get a new consumer unit on the electrics as that came up on the EICR that was completed on the property with a few other tweaks on the electrical works to make sure it was all safe for tenants. In here is one of the rooms that we will head into um, shortly through the next room and then through here we have got the amazing space that has been converted from a slightly darker room and we've added new carpets there is new paint on the wall to brighten up the space and that is in this back room as well as the front converted garage space which was already converted we've just brightened it up again and freshened it up compared to what we were using it for so as you can see a really good space for a bedroom for a office space whatever suits the new tenants So as you can see, this has also got great patio doors out into the garden, which hopefully you can see is a really lovely, low maintenance sort of space with artificial grass, which we put in a short while ago. So amazing in the summer. In the winter, it's still a great useful space as well. As you can see, a higher patio at the back. Now let us move to upstairs and head up to our living floor as I'll call it where we've got our kitchen and our living room as you can see all this hallway has had a freshen up with new glass with new paint which was done a short while ago and into the kitchen and as you can see a really bright clean new flooring has gone down and a good clean of the kitchen to give a really nice space Uh, moving through to the living room, which is an absolutely amazingly big space, which has a variety of uses from having a dining area in here and a living space or a living, just a living room or a office area. There's a lot of options in this area of the house that you can use it for, depending what suits you and your family. So as you can see, we've basically just tidied this space up. We've um, had new carpets a short while ago. So it was quite limited, the work we needed to do just yet. Now let us head up to the top floor, which is definitely the bedroom space um, for at least three people, as well as potentially downstairs. Now into our first bedroom. And as you can see, this is the smallest one, which is a single bedroom. As you can see from the photos, here is how the room can be laid out. So it just gives you an idea of the space. Now here is the next size up bedroom, which can be a double or could be a single, depending on obviously the tenant's family circumstances. Great inbuilt wardrobe and we just really tidied up the space and gave it a bit of a deep clean. Moving on, there is the family bed bathroom, which had to have new taps, again, a bit of a deep clean. And we just made sure the plumbing works was done as well as get our gas certificate for the property. Now, 
Moving into the final bedroom, which is the master bedroom and ensuite, the biggest bedroom up here, which we just needed to do, again, a bit of a deep clean, touch-ups on the paint and um, cleaning of the carpet, which has all been done relatively low refurb required at this point on this room. Now, final bit of the house is then the ensuite, which again, we've not really done an awful lot in here. It's mainly had a paint, a really good deep clean, and the cupboard's been left there to give um, flexibility for the tenant. I would definitely recommend you have a look at what you want to do with any properties that you own that you may be moving out of. And do check out the videos on the channel, which cover off how to work through this process and the video on the numbers so that you can actually see, would this work for you? And this may be an option for you to do. Check out the other videos on this project, which take you through how we got to this end result and give you a bit more information on what we had to do to achieve the results that we have achieved. I'm Kimberly Shapcott from Shapcott's Accountants and Believe Property. Please check out the rest of the videos on this project and please let me know if you've got any questions or any comments on what we're doing to this project. Please like the video and do subscribe to the channel and let's make tax less taxing. Let's tax it.